This is Savannah Hernandez for Infowars.com. We're out here on the streets of Austin today to ask people what they think about the Trump-Putin summit and if they're buying the mainstream media lie that President Trump betrayed the U.S. Do you think that President Trump betrayed our whole country during the Trump-Putin summit yesterday? Uh, yes, yeah, but not our country because I'm not from him. But yeah, I think he betrayed the U.S. Absolutely. How come? Because he denied the efficacy of our own uh, security apparatus. And he indeed prefers the Soviet approach, the, Soviet, the Russian approach, to the uh, solutions of the world. It's, it's just preposterous. I do not like the way he handled it yesterday. No, I do not. I think he is kowtowing to uh, Vladimir Putin. How come you don't like the way he handled it? Because he agreed with Vladimir Putin's denial of the fact that he uh, meddled with the American election when uh, our justice system has uh, conclusively established that the Russians meddled with our election. Can you give me some examples of the Russian collusion? Um, I have not read enough to give you specific examples. Uh, the, the collusion's interesting. I, I don't really understand it. I sure didn't like what I heard. I sure didn't like it at all. So wouldn't be a stretch for me to say that he disappointed me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. In fact, he, he really, he really, like, volunteered information and also just kept talking just out the side of his neck because he got the saying stuff about the European Union and everything. He was just doing too much. He was doing entirely too much. So yeah, he, he betrayed us. I didn't I didn't get to watch most of it because I was at work, so I was really just following it on my phone. So I didn't get to hear exactly what he was saying, but I know that he was touching on some sensitive subjects in areas where he wasn't supposed to. Everything that he said is terrible. I mean, he don't have to go to Helsinki <laughs> to say terrible things. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, but like, give me an example of what he said that, that's terrible, that you don't like. But every time he opens his mouth. But give me an example. <laughs> I'm just asking for one example. Oh, 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 oh. I think I think we got to give Trump a chance to see what he can do. Uh, you know, he's not perfect, that's for sure. But I think we just have to give him time to see what he can do. Yesterday during the Trump-Putin summit. No, I don't. No, I don't know. I think he's a patriot, and I'm in all. I'm in favor of what he's done. I don't have all the information, so I can't give you all that info. I mean, from what I see from the media, I can't trust what I see, so I just have to base my own opinions. So, What do you mean you can't trust when you, what you see based on the media? I mean, what you see in the news here compared to what you see like overseas in BBC or CNN is it's just totally different. So you might have CNN might give one point of view compared to maybe another Fox. Right, and I've been watching a lot of the media, and they've kind of come forward and said that Trump betrayed our country, that he sided with Russia over, you know, our own U.S. intelligence agencies. What do you think about that? I don't know all the details on that, so I didn't get to watch it. I would love to watch it and give you a better response than what I'm giving you now, so. Bye-bye. Do you trust the FBI or the CIA? Honestly? <laughs> I would tell you no. Okay. Uh, I will tell you someone that's, you're speaking to someone that worked for the government for 20 years, so. Oh. I'm retired. I'm retired army. So. I mean, can you give us some examples of why we shouldn't trust the FBI, or the CIA? I don't know. Maybe I'm being bugged right now. I guess. <laughs> I mean, that would be a, probably a good response. I mean, they have total control of our whole lives, of what we have, all the information that we have, uh, stuff that we do from either our shopping, the uh, video cameras on the on the wall, um, you know, phone tapping. Who knows all the, the things that are out there? Um, I trust them as much as I need to. Um, I don't. You know. Do you trust the FBI or the CIA? Absolutely, 100%. Uh, more than Trump, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Why? Um, I, don't, I feel like I don't have a good reason. Do you trust the FBI or the CIA? I don't have enough. Uh, half half, I would say, maybe. I don't really have much trust in any government agency, in all honesty. Do you trust the FBI or the CIA? Of course. Why? No. How come? I mean, I'm actually a criminal justice major, and I wanted to work Homeland. And it's like, whenever it's, whenever you really think about it, whenever you get into it, political, like politician-wise, you get to see that, that they're, really, they're really doing stuff just to benefit themselves. You know, our government does a lot of crazy things that when you find out about it, it's scary. 
Do you trust the CIA or the FBI? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we have to trust them to some degree. But do you trust them? Not totally, no. No? How come? Because I know different things that have happened than they were shady. in back of it. Yeah, too shady. Very good. Very good answer. Very too shady. shady. Do you trust the FBI or the CIA? Not so much anymore. I mean, so if the average American, I guess, doesn't trust the FBI or the CIA, do you think that Trump should? Oh, that is a great question. Do you think that President Trump should trust the FBI or the CIA? You guys, can I phone a friend for this? <laughs> probably not. If it, if it walks like a duck and talks like a duck, it's probably a duck. That's up for him. That's his decision. He has more information than I do, you know, so, but I am a little bit disappointed in the FBI. I am. So you think President Trump should trust the FBI and the CIA? Absolutely. Is there anything else you want to say? Fuck Trump. Where are the yeah, yeah, I'm kind of on the fence about that, but I got to go with yes with trusting them. Okay, I mean, if you're on the fence about it, do you think that President Trump should trust them? Trust is a tough thing to talk about right about now with what's going on in the government, so. That he should trust them? Who? The FBI. Yeah, all the intelligence agencies. No, no. So he shouldn't trust them? Maybe he could not trust them in absolute. But the thing is, he, this is not the place where he has to, to show that. President Trump should trust the CIA, CIA and FBI? I I think he needs to pay attention and find, dial in and find out as much as he can from everybody that he knows to find out if what they're saying is true or not true. Same thing with um, Putin and Russia. We have to keep our eyes and ears open always. I mean, do you think everything that the, the central intelligence agencies and everything have been saying about the Trump-Russia collusion is true or do you think that it might be a lie? I'll tell you what, I trust Trump a whole lot more than I trust the Clintons. Thank you very much. We've seen a lot of varying responses today. A lot of Russian collusion was brought up, a lot of the indictments, and it seems that the average American is very influenced by what the mainstream media has had to say about the President Trump and Putin summit. This has been Savannah Hernandez with Infowars.com. Staying healthy on the go is just as important as staying healthy at home. But sometimes, supplements don't work fast enough. That's why InfoWars Life has created a powerful new addition to the Super Blue line, Super Blue Silver Immune Gargle. Available in 1 ounce, 3.5 ounce, and 16 ounce bottles, Immune Gargle is perfect for the bathroom, kitchen, or wherever you go. The incredible new purifying formula is dentist recommended for daily use whenever you feel like you need to stay clean. As a powerful hand purifier or oral cleansing formula, just a small spray will help you stay clean when you feel surrounded by toxins. With powerful yet simple ingredients, Immune Gargle features Silver Soul Nano Silver for a powerful cleansing alternative. With Super Blue Silver Immune Gargle, staying toxin free is easy and affordable. Help stop the spread of toxins and stay healthy with Super Blue Silver Immune Gargle. Only available at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com dot com.